my name is Amar Rokhwala. I belong to the Reddy sector, and I completed my MBA Entrepreneurship and Family Management. It was a great experience overall. I was able to get a lot of experiential learning. In NMIMS uh, specifically, you got a lot of international exposure. So, as an individual, it was developing a personality of your own over the years. When I started off, the analytical skills that were required to run business were few. But over the two years, with every little subject, with the type of global exposure that was pro- provided, it made a complete difference. Earlier, our visions were very limited. We did not see any exponential growth in business. We did not talk about touching heights which were which and boundaries beyond certain levels. But currently, that has changed over two years. You interacted with individuals from across the country. The type of exposure that you got from those various cultures and understanding where they have what they have already achieved as compared to us, that was the major difference. That's when you start thinking, oh, I don't just want to be a builder. I just don't want to do a project one by one. <clears throat> I want to make a complete difference. I want to look at doing townships that make a difference completely on an in, on a national level as as well as be like a sample project which can be showcased internationally. Learning was not only through subjects, subjects that provided practical understandings. For example, we talk about the organizational culture subject that I had in my course. It was the subject provided a lot of uh, theoretical data on how to analyze people, but also at the same time provided practical analysis in the form of how one thing would multiply into another, how the effect of an individual. Worked on another personality, so that was where I started off analyzing and understanding various personalities in my organization, how they function, and how they needed to be mismatched and their portfolios needed to be changed. Well, it's working out to be better for me now, which as compared to earlier, it wasn't because there was always a strike. There was a form of barrier for communication between two individuals who were running two departments that needed coordination between each other. One simple subject making a difference. How does that multiply? It makes a complete difference in terms of a list of number of subjects that we did. Almost forty-eight subjects across the two years. So the difference was, we normally put money in fixed deposits, earning interest, which are very low, or we may put it in the cash market where we earn two percent month on month. Risky, whereas something which is really safe. Where do you get in between? You start investing in stocks. That was something I was newly exposed to through the process of NMIMS. A professor who taught us corporate finance gave me an intricate understanding of the stock uh, market and knowing what are the parameters of understanding terms of ratios and other things which need to be recorded to understand exactly where to invest and how to invest. There was one specific subject which was uh, which helped me build my vision. That was managing practices for entrepreneurs. Here, I had understanding that I would only want to be in the realty sector, but with this particular subject and understanding various portfolios across the business, various functions also of management, as well as various corporate levels of understanding, I started summing up where realty sector actually, where the realty sector comes into play. It comes into play in terms of agriculture, it comes into play in terms of education, it comes into play in healthcare, it comes into play for warehousing and logistics. So. That's where you understand that this is where you want to expand into where the portfolio. At the end of the day, this will all sum up to and into integrate into a much better, more value-added reality. When I speak about one of my experiences, it was see we are normal home entrepreneurs. We go out and we are not able to meet the highest level of individuals in an organization. We already are doing businesses with uh, say. An elevator, an elevator company provided us vertical and horizontal transportation. That's Schindler. So Schindler was already working with us, but I was not able to coordinate or I was not able to interact with individuals from high levels in their organization. I was working with lower levels of individuals in their organization who I was negotiating with. I was not building a relationship. I was building something which would just functionally solve my problem in business. But when I went to Germany. And I got the exposure through our international visit 
in the international industrial music that was a complete change i had the privilege along with these 130 entrepreneurs who had joined me during my trip from my own coast to interact with mr swen rao who is the asia pacific head of shindra we took a further to- uh, talks further and this re- this relationally this as a relation it evolved and it's about it's eventually about the individual actually utilizing the uh, the relation that he makes at that particular trip when we talk about risks well your father is always hesitant to take a particular risk as an individual now you're the new entrepreneur you are young blood you are dynamic why are you dynamic because this course always hammered it into your head that you need change change is sub- supposed to be implemented that is something that's going to eventually make a difference this change this need for change because you didn't want to stay in stagnant waters is where now we start taking new new risks it's about me already making a point of utilizing assets which i already have for example i own a barren land which i would construct at a later date it would take 7 years from now when i would re- get my real appreciation on that land now i have already thought about utilizing it as a warehouse that's not my that's not my core business but i'm trying to get into that i've talk as uh, like in form of my, uh, in form of my other assets which also has material in terms of which can be used for my mining that's also what we're talking about utilizing so it is a difference from what it's different from the stagnant position that we had early on it's some it's the need to achieve and the need to achieve has come at nmims from the mba and entrepreneurship and family business it is from the students who were there from across the country different cultures they had different visions they had a different line of path they had to they each of them wanted to achieve something that's that's what made that's what helped us helped me individually <clears throat> to create that create a strive to achieve something beyond that it was our teachers who helped us formally create projects which we took to our parents the parents would actually understand these projects and formally give us an understanding of our business which we did not have the courage to first ask them that why is this change happening why is this step taken being taken specifically your father would not answer or oh, what is the actual turnover in your business you would never you would never have the courage to actually ask your father early on but now since it was the projects these projects that came across and they were practically applied some of them which are not going to help you today they may help you in the near future for sure this is the overall understanding that you get the global exposure you are going to go global it's the connectivity age you are going to interact with others all this is going to sum up and help you but it was it, the real the real derivation came from these two years because it changed the personality in me individually completely and that's what caused me to do what i am doing today and hopefully make me an entrepreneur which will make the nation's head high tomorrow as well as anyone